Two women are suing the owners of a boarding school for young girls for abuse they claim to have endured in their time there as teenagers. Good evening, I'm Heather Lewis. Good to have you along this Thursday at 10. I'm David Oliver. Circle of Hope Girls Ranch in Humansville has been at the center of some controversy in recent months, and now there are two more lawsuits alleging sexual and physical abuse. In a Color 10 follow-up report tonight, Jesse Inman spoke to the attorneys representing those women. Jesse, you've been following this case. Talk to us about the allegations. Yeah, owners Boyd and Stephanie Householder are accused of 10 counts of negligence by two former residents there who claim to have been beaten and sexually abused by members of the Householder family. Last month, state officials removed 24 young girls from Circle of Hope Girls Ranch in Humansville after allegations of abuse began to surface. This week, that property went up for sale, and now two women who once lived at the so-called religious reformatory school for girls are suing the owners of the ranch. Catherine Reed is one of the attorneys representing the women, identified only as Jane Doe 1 and Jane Doe 2 in the lawsuits. Reed says some of the abuse was consistent in both of her clients' allegations. They allege that certain acts had occurred where they were physically restrained. Our clients have told us that they were deprived of food. They were, girls were forced to overeat. They suffered extreme disciplinary actions. They were deprived of bathroom use. They were watched in the shower. And that's just the beginning of the allegations. Both claim to be sexually assaulted in their time there, each by a different member of the householder family. It is alleged in our petition that Jane Doe 1 was sexually assaulted by Boyd and Stephanie Householder's son. In contrast, the Jane Doe 2 petition alleges that Jane Doe 2 was sexually assaulted by Boyd Householder himself. Reed and her law firm have taken on similar lawsuits at religious boarding schools in the past, and she advises anyone who is considering enrolling their child in one to do their homework. Investigate and investigate some more. Um, it's one thing to have a website and showcase horses and um, bedrooms and all of the great activities that occur there, but really dig deeper. And again, 10 counts of negligence being filed between those two lawsuits. Reed says the householders were not qualified to be in charge of the education, nutrition or well-being of those children. And she says Circle of Hope being labeled as a religious organization allowed them to bypass licensing for many of those things. If you want to look at more of these disturbing allegations, we have a story where you can check that out at OzarksFirst.com. We'll follow the case. Jesse, thanks.